Ha! What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doopy 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 doo. Pa. Sitting around here long enough. Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is. That is a door. It is closed. Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that easily, will we? Hey? Hello? Don't make so much noise in there. What do you want? Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough to have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> the air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? An air conditioner behind the padding? That does make much more sense, of course. Can you turn on the AC for me, please? I'll have to think about that. If you keep quiet from now on, maybe... later! I couldn't help but notice how skillfully you're guarding this door. Ah, you noticed that, eh? So you might have also noticed that I have my own technique. I developed it at the last tournament. Yep. Really? So you're a famous athlete? Do you play on a team or something? Oh, <laughs> I... well, I play golf. Mini golf. Yep. Mini golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. You can cool off a bit that way. That didn't do much now, did it? If only I had something pointy. Oops, I broke my chair leg. Yeah, baby! Let's trash the whole place! There's a draft coming from behind this gap. I can't get any further with my bare hands.
It's a flathead chair leg, but a Phillips screw head. It's screwed on tight. How do you feel about this, Great Harvey? I feel, uh, great. There must be some way to get through. Go, Edna, go! That doesn't work that way. The Great doesn't seem to be impressed. Quite the contrary, in fact. It seems to be mocking me. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh! You used to know how way back when. What do you mean? You used to be able to loosen screws with no tool before. That's what I mean. Edna, what's up? What do you mean by all this back then nonsense? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. Could I teleport? Not exactly that, but a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost. But you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo! And then? Then I'll tempo morph us to the past! Hello, Edna. What's up? Oh, nothing. Forget it. I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo morph you to the past now? Yeah. Tempo morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on. <laughs> So this is the past? It looks like our old basement at least. And look at me! I'm young! We've jumped back about ten years! Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. So I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was... Albert, or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Alfred Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh, no. You better believe it. He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa. But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right, then. Hmm. I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first, if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. Hmm. The window is closed. I might be able to squeeze through, but I can't do it without Edna's help. Edna is by far the most interesting human being in the world! Maybe Edna can open the window for me. I should talk to her about it. Hey, Edna! Can you open the window for me, please? Even I can't reach it, Harvey. If I could, do you think I'd still be sitting down here? I wonder if Edna can use this thing. Um, Edna? Will 
you help me up there? Just for a second? Yeah, I think I can manage. Oh, there's somebody sitting there! The guy on the left is Mattis, Edna's father. But on the right... Hey! Isn't that Alfred Marcel? That's the son of Dr. Marcel, the head of the asylum! Edna had to play with him a lot back then. But why is he sitting here eating ice cream with Mattis when Edna's locked inside? I don't get it! It says that the chestnut burglar has escaped again. We'll have to watch our chestnuts closely now. Just a second? This is interesting. It says he escaped by using a chewed-off toenail. Hmm... This says that you're allowed to rhyme easel with brush! Yippee! That oversight was long overdue! The chestnut burglar has escaped again. Maybe Edna can learn something from him. Guess what? The chestnut burglar has escaped again! Oh no! Not again! Last time he took three trees in our street alone! Police are saying that he escaped using a chewed-off toenail. Really? Hmm... A knot of toenails shouldn't be hard to come by. And now? I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work. I can't believe it! It really did work! The latch isn't held by the panel anymore. I can just open the door. This really is our old kitchen. I can't wait to go on exploring my past. No, not yet. just about to come back to me. I'm sorry. This was all I could remember. At least you learned how to loosen screws. Right. Thanks, Harvey. Where would I be without you? Well, sweetheart, what is it now? I feel a little chilly now. Can you turn off the AC again, please? No. Fresh air is good for you. And with any luck, it'll make you drowsy. I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who doesn't? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Could you let me out and show me some of your golf skills? You know full well Dr. Marcel forbids that. If you're just trying to annoy me, I'll come in and play some mini golf on you! And I bet Mommy bought the club for you. Ha! <laughs> Do you think that a Babbitt and Son can be bought in just any store? Where did you get it? Did you steal it? I think this is all very exciting. Watch your mouth! I've never stolen anything in my life. Where did you get it then? Did you carve it from a whale's jawbone? Ha! The whale has yet to be born! Whose jawbone can compete with the impact of a genuine Babbitt and son? 
I give up? Where did you get it? My father made it for me. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Really? As he lay on his deathbed with shaking hands, he handed over his own Babbitt and Son Titanium 7 Iron. <laughs> his lucky club. He told me to use it like he taught me. You're a real daddy's boy, aren't you? My father was a great man. And an incredible mini-golfer, I'm sure. Yep. That sounds like one of those sophisticated father and son relationships. Yes. My father was a very sophisticated man. He was so suave that he always wore a tuxedo. Sometimes at night, I even put on his top hat, just to find out how it felt to be as debonair as my father. Do you mean that kind of sophisticated? Um... Well... Anyway, thanks for sharing this completely useless information with me. I wonder if my father was a mini-golfer too. What did you say, sweetheart? Your father was many things, but mini-golfer wasn't one of them. <laughs> what do you know about him? There are things that are better left in the past. <laughs> oh boy. Father a mini golfer. That really cracks me up. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> Is that all? Or do you want to know anything else? Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> My poor father. Just you wait. Let's see if you're still laughing when I turn the AC back off. I might not be able to take it with me, but I think I can pry it out of the casing if I use a bit of force. Help a lady out here, will you, Harvey? And... This Edna is a real challenge, Holgor. That's Dr. Marcel's voice. It's coming from beyond this grate. Quick, maybe we can listen in on what they're saying. What do you mean by that, Dr. Marcel? I'm at the end of my tether. It's been ten years, and she can still remember. You're afraid she might find out what really happened back then? Pah! Nobody will believe her. Who's gonna believe a loony? The daughter of a convicted murderer. So why are you worried? I'm not worried. I just hate her resistance. I can't believe what I'm hearing. My dad? A murderer? There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. Yeah, this Dr. Marcel is hiding something. As soon as we're out of here, we'll have to clear the good name of my father. Closed. As was to be expected. Dr. Marcel and Hulger are gone. Dr. Marcel and Hulger are gone. Well, here we go again. I'm starting to get the hang of this. A polo mallet. That's definitely Dr. Marcel's distinct signature. One cup for a spelling bee and one for shooting clay discs. How sporting. Close. 
closed. That makes me angry. Yikes! Well, if it isn't Miss Edna, how did you manage to get out of your cell? I possess secret powers. One step closer and I'll turn you into a bulldog. Oh, yeah? Booga! It worked! I didn't know I had it in me. Quit this nonsense and get over here already. I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! Never! Ha! Never! You can't hide behind the desk forever. We'll see about that. Edna slay big animal. Ugh. Yes, I should get rid of him. But where to put him? Ah, I know. The cabinet. At the same time, not far away. Stay tuned for another mind-blowing story about people with big... <coughs> what the... Not again. Why don't we get cable here? Ah, uh, so what? I'll just go back to watching the Looney Show. This is the ventilation shaft I crawled through. Yes, folks, it's time once again for Edna Conrad and her dancing toenails. It loses some of its appeal trying to get in instead of out. There's a forest behind the wall. Then there's a river with a bridge over it. I can make out a graveyard and a church. And then... houses. Isn't that one our house? I have to get there as soon as possible. Whatever it is Dr. Marcel is trying to hide, I'm sure I can find hints there that will help me remember. Hey! Uh-oh, I better skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! What's the meaning of this? Come back here at once! You'll break every bone in your body! Why don't you come and get me? Well... Oh, isn't that cute? 
Our mini golf professional has a fear of heights. Coward, coward. Yeah, you just laugh. But eventually, you'll have to come down from there. And that's when I'll show you. Babbitt is in there. I better not get too close to him. Whoops! Help! Murder! Now the handle can't be pushed down anymore. What the? Hey! What's going on? I'm still in here! Hello! Holgor! Dr. Marcel! Somebody! There was a surprise in there. It's a brand spanking new authentic police badge with small parts that could be swallowed. Cool. I bet only the toughest cops get the small parts that could be swallowed. It's locked! <coughs> no, I've worked hard for the dirt under my soles. Oh, great balls of fire! There's cutlery in there! This is where the cutlery is usually kept. Let's see. Now, what if we hear a knife and a fork? This series of surprises just keeps on coming. What's this? Not one spoon? Where the heck are the spoons? They're of no use hanging on the wall. Uh-oh. Hey! It's prohibited to pass through here. Can't you see I'm the newbie? Always the same witty remarks, Miss Edna. Maybe the doctor should be less thorough when erasing your memory. You always come up with the same old tricks. What else you got for me? You have a special permit? You're just visiting? Or no, wait. You're not really even there, right? Uh... 
you know, I've really had it up to here with you. Alarm! Patient on the run! What's going on? What do you think? There's a patient on the run! Where are all the others? Aren't Babbitt and Holger around? Isn't that something you should know? I've been sitting here all day. I don't know what else is going on. But obviously, the whole building is in chaos since the doctor went out. It's just, uh, I've never dealt with an attempted escape before. <sighs> alright, alright, I'll just put her in here with the others. That must be what I'm supposed to do. There, you stay here till the doctor is back. Something seems to have gone patently wrong here. Hello. Hello, young lady. Wait. Stay there. There's no doubt. You're different from the others. Your aura is highly energetic. Who are you? Where do you come from? I'm Edna. I've come from the dungeons of a tower. You have been incarcerated for a long time indeed. Your kismet is like a thirsty sponge that aches to suck itself full of freedom. But you haven't reached your goal yet. Keep at it, Edna. The days of your enslavement are numbered. Wow! Impressive speech, Gramps! What brings you here, my child? Do you know a way out of here? Outside and inside are just two aspects of the same circumstance. Like the two sides of a coin. Neither be inside nor outside, Edna. Just be. Can I have the coat hanger? Normally I despise the concept of material possessions, but the coat hanger is essential to me, I'm afraid. For one thing, it is my aerial that connects me to the ethereal realm. I'm also keeping it handy just in case. An aluminum suit is very prone to wrinkling, you know. I have to get a move on. Take care of your karma. The line is dead. Hello. Hey, you don't have to hide from me. How can I be sure? You could be a Velociraptor in disguise. Are you one of those mad scientists? I beg your pardon? Who do you think you are? Oh, the youth nowadays. They see a man with white hair crouching behind an armchair in an asylum, and they jump to the mad scientist stereotype at once. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Do you know anything about Dr. Marcel? More than most. Did you know that he has a dark secret? I knew it! I knew it! Yes. He's breeding dino-human hybrids in his secret facility on Jupiter. No. I didn't know that. How's research coming along? Uh, quite satisfactorily. The only things missing are a couple of dino genes for my secret breeding program, if you get my drift. That sounds exciting. How does one breed dinos? Oh, do come on. Everybody knows that. Ah, dinosaurs hatch from occlusions in amber. I'll drop by again later. If the world still exists, then, is what you mean to say. Yeah. Give or take ten minutes.
Stop that! I need to know how this ends. to do that the party is not for you today is the birthday of Peter oh, but please don't tell him the party is here it's supposed to be a surprise we'll see about that you have to promise you won't tell him okay promise all right I promise swear it I swear cross your heart Okay, okay, okay. Cross your heart and hope to die. I swear it, okay? Okay. I'll take your word for it. Keep on celebrating. Oh, I will. Oh, yeah. Turn the lights off on your way out. We'll see. Hello, man Hello, stranger woman. You can call me Edna. Pleased to meet you, Edna. Who's your little friend? That's Harvey. He's helping me to escape. Hi, Harvey. Cool get up, buddy. Why are you wearing a bee suit? To show solidarity with other men in bee suits. To open the world market for the insectoid garment as conceptual performance satire to boycott the fashion industry, and finally, to express my admiration for those hard-working honey collectors. Admit it. You lost a wager. I lost a wager. Why do you have such big ears? All the better to eat you with. And as a valve for my exceptionally high output of earwax, I'm afraid. Exceptionally high output of earwax? Yuck! Yes, it is no picnic. I don't think it should be used in the same context as picnic at all. This overproduction is some kind of an allergic reaction with me. I'm allergic to hot beverages. Ah, <sighs> I could still use a good cup of coffee right now. I'll be going then. Go ahead. This is art. Hey, you. I'm Edna. Who are you? Hi, Edna. I'm Peter. Really? What parents call their child Peter? How old are you anyway? Nobody's named Peter nowadays. My, 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 my. What an exceptionally ugly name! I'd kill myself if I had a name like that. Uh, I mean, it isn't that bad. The name might be ugly, but it becomes you in a way. 
Is there something wrong with you? Something wrong doesn't even begin to describe it. It's my 40th birthday today. Yet one more year, one more decade on the odometer. <sighs> my life really can't get much worse. You have a bipolar disorder, right? The doc calls it that. Yeah. And what do you call it? I call it Peter. I could try to cheer you up a little. You might as well try. I don't see how that could make things worse. It's a beautiful day and the sun is shining. Well, okay. That doesn't help you a great deal in here. You are locked up in here after all. So you can't share in all the great activities people can do on the outside. But maybe it helps to bear in mind that everyone else is having fun. Because unlike you, they can do whatever they please. And let's be honest here. They're probably happy that you're not with them. You're not exactly the life and soul of a party. Um... I've lost the thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh yeah, right. I give up. You're simply too hard a nut to crack. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. I'd better leave you alone in your despair. Right. Why should anyone want to keep me company? You're right. I don't know either. I've got something for you. This will get you back on your feet in no time. I doubt that. I'm a real matchmaker, aren't I? How happy they look! I don't want to take it all at once. I'd rather not. I don't want to spoil the romantic mood. Why not? Spoiling is always fun! Oh, shut up, Harvey. You don't know anything about these things. 